Do you know about Mastodon, the latest social network on the block? If you don't, let's take a quick look at it. Hello, this is Victor for PMD Interactive. If you haven't heard of Mastodon, it's a new social network that sprung up in response to the shortcomings of Twitter. Mastodon was founded in late 2016 and gained a lot of exposure in early April when various tech pieces began reporting upon it. Let's take a look at how to set up an account and why you might want to get on this new social network. The first thing you want to do is go to their official website, mastodon.social. We'll see that Mastodon is a free open source social network, a decentralized alternative to commercial platforms. It avoids the risks of a single company monopolizing your communication. So basically the concept is there is no one company behind Mastodon. There is a programmer who put out the code to make this social network. And then many people picked up the baton and created their own versions. So there are various instances of Mastodon that exist throughout the world. And they're all sort of connected with each other if they choose to do it. Now it won't make sense until we actually get into the system. So let's give that a try. Going to mastodon.social gives you a link to log in. Well, obviously you log in if you have an account. If you don't have an account, you'll have to create one. But due to the exceptionally high traffic, as of this video, for mastodon.social, registering at this instance is closed. So there are other public instances. So let's go check out a few others. If you click that link, you'll see a selection of various other servers. Mastodon.xyz, mastodon.rocks, mastodon.network. Well, this is the first confusing aspect of Mastodon. Which of these do I choose? You can choose any one of them. You'll create an account and you'll have a particular user at the instance that you've selected, but you will still be able to connect to and talk to every other server if the server administrator has allowed it. So this decentralized nature is one of the reasons that this network is getting a lot of traction. Each network can then be run in its own way, setting up its own rules. So it could create a much more civil environment than the chaotic Twitter. As of this video, uh, one of the most popular Mastodon instances, besides the parent one of Mastodon.social, is Mastodon.xyz. It has over 8,000 users. You can check the more info field of any of these instances to learn a little bit more about what sets it apart. So more info for Mastodon XYZ. I'll select to register. So I'm going to create a username. I need to supply an email address, create a password and confirm it. Click get started and then you'll have an email sent to you that you'll need to click to confirm. So after you get your email and confirm your address, then you're able to sign in. The Mastodon interface is similar to TweetDeck on Twitter in that you have multiple columns. The first column includes a strip of icons for you to jump to different portions of Mastodon. A search to search toots that are being published on the platform. And yes, on Mastodon, when you publish a post, it's a toot rather than a tweet. Another difference is you have 500 characters to toot. You can attach a picture or other media like video. You can adjust its privacy settings if it's public or not. And then you can attach a content warning. So this is sort of a read more onto your toot. You can type as much as you want and then add a content warning that people won't see until they click. My home column has nothing to look at yet. I haven't followed anyone on Mastodon. I have no notifications either. And then I get this column, which is pretty much similar to the first strip. So let's say I want to look at what the hubbub is about. If I click on local timeline, this shows me a column of what everyone on this instance of Mastodon is tooting about. Two minutes ago, Unboostable Kim wrote something. And as I'm speaking, other toots populate this timeline. So everyone that's on this instance is actively tooting and if they set their toots to public, I see it on the local timeline. So what's even more fun is the federated timeline. 
as I said, there are many instances of Mastodon. There's Mastodon.xyz, we saw Mastodon.network, and we saw a bunch of other ones with different names. So these are people on different servers using the same Mastodon software but they're on about different topics and I'm free to interact with anyone on these other servers. You see here the federated timeline almost feels like a classic internet chat in that content is constantly zooming by, which you can stop of course if I wanted to scroll down and look at someone's toot and reply to them I'm able to do so. So I'm going to reply to someone from two minutes ago. Santiago Roland is at Santiago at social.undernet.ui. So this Mastodon instance is social.undernet.ui. I'm free to interact with them. I'll reply. I see their toot and their username is put in and I can reply. Notice I've written much more than a regular tweet. I have the space for up to 500 characters, plus emoji, of course. I can attach media, set privacy, and add a content warning. So I'll toot that. That's my first toot. Santiago was notified. He may reply, he may ignore. From my experience in Mastodon, it has been very enjoyable. People are tired of the anger and fake news that are permeating other social networks. And Mastodon, most instances, are really taking into account creating a nice, safe environment where people can actually interact and have fun, not just be beat over the head with meanness. To some, that sounds restrictive. To some, free speech is absolute no exceptions. But to others, there's a value to creating a good community. So if you believe in that as well, civility and good discourse, mastodon.social may be a good network to get into. From a marketing perspective, if you create your business's Mastodon account, you'll be on the ground floor in case the system takes off. If you don't care about that, at least here's a new space for you to begin to interact with interesting people. This is global. I've seen already toots in Japanese, in French, in English, etc. Here's another example. Truss has a great idea about keyboard navigation. Let's reach out and toot. Truss is at mastodon.cloud. He created an account on that server, but I'm able to interact with him. So with most social networks, the way you get back results is for you to be active. If you reply to people, if you search keywords, if you are active, you will get activity. Oh, and just like that, trust boosted my status. The terminology in Mastodon is boosted, whereas in Twitter it would be retweeted. So now his followers. He currently has one, but if he had more followers, his followers would see my toot and could then cause me to get more followers. To really do that well, I should have my profile fully set up. What's the name that I wish to convey? What's a biography? Choose an avatar and a header. I have various other options like even two-factor authentication to make my account more secure. So I would want to fill in those items as soon as possible to really begin to interact with people. You'll get the most out of Mastodon as you use it. So hopefully this quick look at the latest social network, mastodon.social, was valuable to you. Go off and toot to the world. This has been Victor for PMD Interactive. See you next time.